Greetings everybody, here is the full guide on how to downgrade from iOS 15 back to iOS 14 on macOS. If you want to check out how to do it on Windows PC, the guides are in the description and in the pinned command and the card above. Right now, as you can see, my iPhone SE is on iOS 15.3.1. It is the latest signed version currently at the time of making this video. And we will downgrade it back to iOS 14.8 unsigned. First of all, you will need SHSH blobs for this. So let's download the blob first. You can download your saved blobs from the TSS Saver website. All the links are in the description in a text file. When you click on retrieve here, it will ask you for the ECID. To get your ECID for your device on Mac, First of all, put your device in recovery mode and connect it to your computer. Alright, so guys, my device is now in recovery mode. You can check out on Google on how to do it for your device. If you see this prompt, click cancel. Now, click the Apple icon here. Click about this Mac. Now, click on system report. Now, click on USB. And you will find your device here in recovery mode. Apple mobile device recovery mode. Just click on it and you will find your ECID right here. Just copy this whole ECID. Now close it. Open the website. Right click. Paste and submit. Open link. You will see all the blobs that you have saved for your device. Blobs are saved when these versions were signed. These blobs are device specific. So we will downgrade to iOS 14.8. Just click 14.8 if you have the blob. Now simply download one of these blobs. As you can see, the blob is downloaded. Next, for this downgrade, you will need iPhone DFU for your device. I am downgrading an A9 device, so I will need this. You will have all the links in the text file in the description. Open it, click on code and download this zip. So we have downloaded the iPhone GFU master right here. Next, you will have to go to this website ipsw.me, scroll down and select your device. Now select your device. In my case, it's an iPhone SE. Scroll down and download the IPSW for the firmware that you want to downgrade to. In my case, it is 14.8. Scroll down and download the IPSW for this firmware. As I have done so already. Next, you will need the Future Restore beta version for Mac OS. Now download the Future Restore binary for Mac OS. For 64-bit devices, you can download this one. And for ARM64 devices, you will download this one. All right, guys. So these are all the files that we need for this downgrade. We can close out of it. Now open the folder that you have all the files within. Now it is the time to put your device in DFU mode. You can check out on Google on how to do it for your device. Now my device is in DFU mode. If you see this prompt, click OK. Now type CD space and drag the folder into the terminal window. Press enter. Now type sudo dot slash iPhone DFU hyphen P hyphen hyphen rm sig checks and press enter put in the password for your username on mac os if the exploit fails just retry and finally your device will be in pawn gfu mode and you will see patched mapping and signature checks now you are good to go. If you see any prompt, click OK. Now just 
double click future restore it will extract future restore binary you can delete it if you want now you have future restore binary right here open the terminal now type sudo space and just drag future restore right here hyphen g drag the blob into the terminal window now hyphen hyphen use hyphen pawn gfu space hyphen hyphen set hyphen nonce hyphen hyphen latest hyphen sep space hyphen hyphen latest hyphen baseband and now drag the IPSW for the version you want to downgrade to like in my case it is 14.8 now press enter it will download the firmware.json and then it will download the sep and the build manifest all right guys you can check out that the non generator is now set for your blob and now your device will be in recovery mode now we can move forward and downgrade this device now guys simply press up arrow and you have to remove these two flags set nonce and use pawn gfu so i will remove these two flags now leave rest of the command as is now press enter now the downgrade will proceed now it will extract file system from the IPSW. Make sure you have enough free space on your hard disk. Now if everything goes well, it will start sending the file system. The downgrade or the restore is pretty much done here at this point. Now if everything went well, you will see restoring succeeded, restore finished and your device will be downgraded. Alright guys, you can check out the version here. I am downgraded to iOS 14.8 on my iPhone SE. Now, to downgrade A10, A11 and other devices that are compatible, the process is exactly the same, but I will still include this guide in the text file that you can follow for A10, A11, A8. The only difference is the commands that you have to put in to remove the signature checks that's all for this video guys if you still have questions you can always ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye